Hello, my darlings. Hello, my beautiful people. Hello, my beautiful souls. I'm Eve, and I welcome you all to my channel, Love Healing Tarot International. I want to thank you all for watching my videos, for subscribing to my channel. Keep on subscribing because as soon as we reach 300 subscribers, I will give away for three of you a personal reading. So, keep on subscribing. And thank you for pushing the like button. Thank you for making comments. You make me very happy. And my darlings, the today's subject will be no contact. What are the true feelings and what do they intend to do? Okay, so my darlings, you have to choose between the disease and the forget-me-not flower and the almonds so take your time this is a general reading so you can pick more than one readings it's okay because perhaps you have to receive more than one messages okay my darlings and I will start with the daisies The daisies have my classic tarot. So, my darlings, that you have chosen the daisies, please concentrate to your person, to the person you have no contact. And I'll try to tell you their true feelings and their intentions. Wow. We have Queen of Wands here. Suggest came out of the deck, so I will tell you that she is a very passionate, dynamic, energetic woman. Perhaps your person sees you like that. It doesn't matter whether you're a man or a woman, because tarot cards do not have sexes. Okay, my darlings. And Let's see. Your shadow card is Nine of Swords. This is a very heavy, sentimentally very heavy card. It, because uh, it means that some of you that you are here watching this video, that you are suffering from nightmares, that you are having unpleasant thoughts, you feel betrayed, and generally, you are not in a good situation right now. Sentimentally, you're very vulnerable. You feel guilt. So, let's see what about your person. Okay. Their true feelings and their intentions. No contact. It seems like you are really suffering because of no contact with your person. Let's see what about them. Wow, they are so deeply hurt as well. Unbelievable, isn't it, my darlings? If you don't already know that, it's unbelievable, isn't it? You're both so, so hurt. 
you're terribly hurt, both of you. And their intentions, the hangman, for the moment, they do not seem to intend to do anything. They are people uh, that they have met something new with you, but they have boundaries and they have burdens and they're not ready to take the next step. So, my darlings, I think that they need their time. They're not going to do anything for the moment. They will just stay there hanging and sacrificing their, themselves um, because they need time. They need time to decide what to do. They definitely are not ready to do anything right now. They need time, that. That's it. But since you are both suffering from this situation, I believe, I don't know, my instinct tells me that in the future you will get on well together. I don't know what happened between the two of you because it's a general reading and I have no information. So, my instinct tells me that you are going to have a future together. That's what I feel. Okay, my darlings. And I will move to the albums and my chakra tarot pile. So, my darlings, that you have chosen uh, the almonds, please concentrate to the person you wish to know, uh, that you have no contact with and you wish to know their true feelings and their intentions. Okay, my darlings. It's not one card, so I won't read it. They were three cards. Okay, my darlings, uh, the shadow card, you have three of cups. Okay, it's the third chakra and it's uh, it's where our gut instinct lies as well as our thoughts, plans, and the path we take. The third chakra highlights our plans, thoughts, and decisions, planning and rethinking. Our past emotional choices will be revealed in the three cards. So, Let's see, Three of Cups. Some of you that you are here, you think that it's time for you for harmony and celebration and friendship and teamwork. It's a very happy card in this tarot. And your indication is be guided by your own instinctual 
thoughts, regardless of outside opinions, and that's something that is for every one of us. We should listen only to our heart. So, let's see your answers now, my darlings. Your persons that you have no contact for, contact for the moment, their feelings and their intentions. So, nine of coins, their feelings. You cannot say it's really feelings. It's the second chakra. And the second chakra is represents our internal feelings. Some of which we have learned from our family or origin. So, nine of coins is the card of personal inventory. Your person is continually focused on how to create financial security. And that might bring them luck of self-care, my darlings. Uh, they do care too much about money. This is not feelings at all. They just care about money and independence and security and ownership and harvesting and things like this. No feelings at all. Let's see what about their intentions. Oh, I like this Queen of Cups. At least. Okay, if they have money, it's better. So, this is the sixth chakra. And the sixth chakra <coughs> Sorry, darlings. Excuse me, but I don't remember everything by heart. The sixth chak chakra reveal family agreements. And if we look close enough, the legacy we've been left. Okay. So, Queen of Cups is the card of emotional healing, my darlings. This is a really, really nice card. I do love it. And I believe that your person will come back because with this lovely card here, the Queen of, of sorry, the Queen of Cups, it's calmness, it's being gifted, it's dreamer, it's comfort, it's tender, it's tender heart, intuition. So I believe that when your person solves his problems with his property and finances, etc., etc., they will realize that they, they can't live without him. For the moment, they are too, uh, too stressed to see it clearly. But when they call, then they will see how much they miss you. And they will come back to you. I'm sure about it. Because Queen of Cups never lies. Okay, my darlings, if you believe or if you feel 
that you can be patient with them and their financial issues, it's okay. They will come back. So, now I will move to my third reading and my druid tarot pile, forget me not flowers. So my darlings that you have chosen, uh, the forget me not flowers, please concentrate to whatever you wish to know, yes or no. Uh, sorry, 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 sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Well, okay, uh, no contact, their feelings and their intentions. Okay, as a shadow card, you have Princess of Pentacles. He knows his study and studios. Hmm? She loves to learn. She's very um, she's very self-reliant and good-natured so some of you that you are here he, watching this video please um, yes watching this video you are in a very productive phase okay and that's good that's very good for you my darlings so now let's see what about your answer about your person that you have no contact with their feelings and their intentions okay and let's see wow just wow eight of wands are they so much in love with you yes they are Eight of Wands can never lie, and it's fire and it's speed and synchronicity and accomplishment. And that's definitely, they're so much in love with you, my darlings. Uh, if I'm not wrong, this is the first reading that we have a clear answer about the feelings. Okay, here we have feelings. They are in love with you. Let's see what about their intentions. Oh God. They're, they're very hurt, my darlings. They're deeply hurt. Why? What happened between you? The point is, they do suffer, they do suffer a lot. But the point is, um, in this uh, particular tarot, says that suffering can lead to great wisdom. The potential for true growth and transformation. We can learn and grow from conflicts and difficulties rather than feel victimized by them. The point is that your person is not here to listen to us. Okay, and I would say that, of course, I don't know what have hap has happened between the two of you, but, but there are feelings and there are very, very deep feelings, my darlings. You know why? Because we have both cards you have are about feelings 
and when we are hurt, we do feel things. Okay, so for the moment, they are not going to do anything because they are very hurt, though they are so much in love with you. It will take them some time. But after that, I believe that everything will be fine for you. Because there are feelings. Deep, deep feelings. Okay, my darlings. And if that's what you want, I do wish you this to happen. So, my darlings, this was the today's reading. Thank you all for being here watching me. If you would like a personal reading, you can contact me in my email or in my Instagram. They are both in the description box. Until next time, take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.